Hi, my name is Colin Birchall. I'm Director for Digital Collaboration Solutions at Rapid Technologies. You can find us at www.rapid.co.uk. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to another Tips and Tricks blog around how to get the most from your smart panel that you might have in your meeting room or you might be considering purchasing at the moment. So today's tip is around how we can get the most from using the smart board with uh, the application SmartSync with something like PowerPoint. So we're using um, Microsoft PowerPoint, which is a, a widely used presentation application uh, that you'll find in your meeting room. And in fact, it tends to be in about 80 to 90 percent of our customers' meeting spaces. And uh, hopefully our customers, our existing customers, will find this quite useful as a reminder on top of the training that you've had. Again, you can find us all about our training, our on-site training at www.rapid.co.uk. So today, like I said, I'm going to talk about PowerPoint. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into slideshow mode, first of all, just to show you the, how to get the best out of um, the smart panel. I'm using a smart um, 8084i, which is our largest um, corporate 84-inch um, LCD um, interactive panel. And uh, what I'm going to talk about, like I said, smart sync in PowerPoint. So the first thing you'll notice when you're using a smart board with something like PowerPoint is that you get this little menu or this little frozen toolbar, uh, which is in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. So on here you'll see there's the obvious things like we've got navigation backwards and forwards, we've got close our presentation down, and we've even got down, down here how many slides are actually in this presentation. In addition to that, we have this little menu button here, which if I press that, it brings up uh, various menus for things like pens, highlighters, and um, additional tools, which we'll show you as we go through this presentation. So the main benefits of having uh, using something like um, the, the smart board is, first of all, it's probably navigation is the first one, I would say. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write a note on there, navigation, and what we're going to do is show you how to navigate. So first one is we can navigate by using the slide buttons, the slide navigation tool here, which is fairly straightforward. It's something you're probably quite familiar with. But the other thing that we can do is actually either swipe through our presentation or double tap through our presentation. So if I click uh, left and then right, it takes me forwards. If I click right and then tap to the left, it takes me backwards. Same works for swiping. So if I swipe from left to right, sorry, left to, uh, right to left, it takes me forwards. If I go left to right, it takes me backwards. Okay, so left to right tap, takes you forwards, right to left, takes you backwards. Okay, so we have a number of different ways we can navigate. The next thing is we can actually make annotations and add annotations to our slides. So if I navigate onto our next slide, I prefer to double tap, it's something I've grown up with. And if I was to pick up a pen now and make an annotation on the board, what I want to do is maybe highlight some points in a presentation to our uh, customers or our, our people in the meeting. I've made those annotations. I can simply navigate onto the next slide. If I navigate back, you'll see my notes remain there. So that's quite good if you want to go back and review. Someone might have a question from the audience who might want to come up and ask us a question about what was the point you were highlighting there. So you can see I've used the pens as a pen tray to do that. But we also do have um, a selection of pens here. So if I wanted to, I could turn my finger into uh, a blue pen, for instance, or I could even turn my finger into a highlighter to highlight uh, certain points on the board as well, like so. So highlighter, pens, they're all available to you as a presenter. And again, as we navigate on between our slides and navigate back, those notes remain. The great thing about that is that we could actually save these notes into our PowerPoint presentation and distribute it, and people remember that particular element of the presentation because we highlighted it. This is also a good practice to get into when you're thinking about designing your PowerPoint, that you might want to leave blank spaces those blank spaces might be for people to come up and write in answers to questions on the board. So that will be involving the audience in the room to actually come up, fill in their answer, and they're more likely to remember that element of the presentation because we were actively involved rather than being a, a passive viewer sat there watching the presentation. As I said, we have our pens options here that we can use very easily, but we additionally have an option here for um, doing some additional stuff. So we've got, first of all, we've got a capture tool. So this will allow us to capture our image that we've uh, that we've on the, that we've made into our Meeting Pro application. So we have a capture tool to do that. We additionally have an option here to clear all our notes, so it clears our notes away. 
So rather than getting out, rather than writing some notes on the board and maybe using your fists to rub it out or the eraser to rub it out, if you wanted to, if you had a number of notes on a board, on a PowerPoint presentation, it does give you the option to clear them all away all at once. The other part of that menu was an option here to drop in a blank slide. Now, normally you'd only drop a blank slide in when you're designing a PowerPoint, but where this has the added benefit of being able to drop in a blank slide, if I press this button here now, it allows me to drop this in, and now this becomes my flip chart. So, how many of you have delivered a PowerPoint presentation and had a flip chart next to your projection system? Well, now what we can do is, as we're talking to the audience, we can capture their ideas directly into PowerPoint. And when we've finished our presentation, you'll see that we actually have our slides with our annotations that we created before, but also our blank slide that we dropped in and with our added notes. I hope this presentation has been useful to you. Um, if you'd like to find out more about what Rapid can do for your business in terms of smart technology and our training services, uh, please visit us on www.rapid.co.uk. Uh, thank you for joining for this presentation and we'll see you on the next one.